So you finished your quilt top and now you're ready to move on to the next step of putting your quilt together. Creating the quilt sandwich is layering the quilt top, batting, and fabric backing together and this video will cover how to do this. In between the quilt top and fabric backing is the batting. This will give your quilt insulation and warmth. You can choose between a poly batting or a cotton one. A polyester batting will give you a puffier quilt and is usually cheaper, and a cotton batting will be easier to work with and is more popular with quilters. Both the fabric backing and the batting should be about four to six inches larger than your quilt top. Press and then lay your fabric backing wrong side up on a flat surface like a table or on the floor. Use painter's tape to keep the fabric flat and taut. Spray with basting spray. If you don't have this, you can skip this step. Place the batting on top, making sure it's smooth with no wrinkles. If it's large, roll it on. Next, I'm going to be spraying my batting with my basting spray and then rolling my quilt top on top of that. You'll notice that I have my quilt top in the center. Remember, we gave ourselves extra room all the way around. This is so we can make sure that we don't have to have things lined up perfectly. So this is, I'm just guesstimating in towards the center of my batting and backing. And I've already used spray basting to attach the top part. I rolled it up. My piece obviously is not that big. I could just spray it and then lay it on top. But if it was big, this is what I would be doing. I'd have it rolled up, take my basting spray, spray just where I need it to be. I'm not gonna do this whole thing. I'm just gonna do a section of it, making sure that I'm trying to avoid the areas outside of it because I don't really need to spray there. So when I'm spraying, I'm spraying about 12 inches away from the batting and then rolling this out, making sure that my quilt top is flat. So once that's done, then I'm gonna do the next section. Again, 12 inches away, spray with basting spray, and then roll out. And I would do this until the whole thing is attached. If you do not have basting spray, when all layers are placed together, use quilt safety pins, which are curved, placing them a few inches apart and going through all three layers. Now that your quilt sandwich is together, it's time to sew your layers so the batting doesn't shift inside the quilt. For this, you have three options, tie, hand quilting, or machine quilting. For ties, I use embroidery thread on a hand needle. Every few inches, do a single stitch with the ends of the thread coming out on the fabric backing side. Then tie the threads together in a knot. If you want to do hand or machine quilting, decide if you want to do a specific design or stitch in the ditch. For design, use fabric chalk, pencil, or marker to draw a design on your quilt top to use as a guide. Stitch in the ditch simply means you're stitching between pieces which would be directly in the middle of your seams. If you decide to sew by hand, you can check out our hand quilting video. For machine quilting, use a walking foot or free motion foot to make sure it feeds through the machine evenly. Choose a stitch length between 2.5 and 3. Depending on your quilt size, you may have to roll your quilt to make it easier to manage while sewing. Start at the center of the quilt and then work your way outwards. Once everything is quilted, you can trim off the excess batting and fabric backing. Then you can move on to the next step of attaching your quilt binding. If you need help with this, check out our video on quilt binding. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.